be on the key phone with my friends My phone just did a green game again Talking about the shit that we all want in here Oh lord They're sharing all the thoughts and they're drinking all the beers Playing all the games that they want to play with the peers Here we go now, here we go now, alright What's up nerds and nerdzettes? Nerdzettes, that's stupid But uh, how's it going everybody? Uh, I wonder if I can get a better fucking screen Perfect, there I am I can even move it up and down like I'm talking. Hey, oh, what's up, everybody? It's me, Michael. Cool, yeah, that works. You guys like that? Is that a fun noise? Oh, hell yeah. Give me that stun, baby. Oh, wasted it already. That sucks. I don't like how jumpy you are. I don't think... And I am not a biologist, but I don't think lions can jump that high. Or carry swords. Or whatever. But this time... I might not. Although the likelihood of that occurring is still pretty high. Told you I probably wouldn't die this time. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Why does everything bad in the world happen to me and only me? This is the worst thing to ever happen on a Tuesday. And good thing I brought my keychain flashlight. You'd never be able to find the car uh, keyhole without this. It has a fob. I don't need the car keyhole. I just press a button and it unlocks. God. Ooh, you are correct. I guess my keychain flashlight actually is worthless. No, stop, stop. Damn it, fuck, look away for a second. This is going to be some real classic Michael just saying whatever comes to mind kind of gameplay tonight. I don't know if you guys remember when I played through Elden Ring in the first place, but uh, it was a lot... What? what? Popping a squat there, huh? That's cool. Ah, uh, yes, I greatly enjoyed Sword Wolf from Dark Souls. Your panties are green and your bra is pink. So suck on my Tic Tac so your breath don't stink. It's really a... Actually, I think that's what uh, Drake's Drake's comeback is. That's his, that's his new diss track. Oh, Ghost Knight. Oh, he's pretty buff, too. But I have the power of magma. Which is ghosts. Natural enemy is magma. We all know this. I, an expert on ghosts. John P. Geist. Resident ghost expert. Mm, yes, magma is the only way to get rid of your ghost problem, sir. I, I don't think those are actually doors. <laughs> Real fake doors here. Come on down to real fake doors. Tired of your doors going places? Install a real fake door. Oh, great son. Frigid son of soul. Surrender yourself to the eclipse. All right, whatever, nerd. I have obtained the eclipse shuttle. Shotel? Sh shuttle? Shovel. Hook. It's a hook. It's just a hook. It's a hook blade thing. It's like a scythe. What is a shotel? I've never... Is so it like a farming implement? I remember this place being vaguely unpleasant. Like, I'm really getting some triggered memories right now. Like, my brain's telling me I shouldn't keep going. Okay, yeah, what is this nonsense now? Yep. Okay, I don't like how these guys look like the player ghosts. And I don't like how I'm getting caught on fire. Fuck. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. God damn. Oh, dude, fuck off. Jesus. Stop. Stop throwing things. Oh, God, this guy's a beast. Oh, never mind. He's kind of a bitch. Oh, never mind. He's kind of tough. Oh, stunned him, though. Oh, God, another knight. See, I knew there was bad shit in here. I knew it. Oh, slow wind up. I fucked up. No, no, no. Oh, Jesus. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, Jesus Christ, excuse me. Oh my God, that tasted like a burrito. It'd be weird if I didn't eat a burrito and said that. Yeah, it would also be kind of suspicious if I just said that unprompted, which I did, but here we are. Panties are green, your bro is pink. So come the toothache, so your breath don't stink. I don't really understand what that platform was supposed to do exactly. I guess, wait, if I make a straight shot, can I go use the save at the beginning? And then just run all the way through here? I do have to deal with, you know, that annoying fucker. Imagine trying to sleep next to this guy. Imagine if this was your roommate, right? Be like, hey. Bro, please. It's three in the morning. What? He never listens. <laughs> Old bell nuts, yeah. <laughs> hey, bell nuts, shut up. I hear him slapping around from the next room over. In fact, I'm on the opposite side of the house. I can kind of still hear him. Oh, got greedy. <laughs> bell balls is not fun to sleep with. Well, yeah, not if you're like, I don't know, at your parents' house or something. I imagine he's a bad high school boyfriend. <laughs> at least you could always use the excuse of, not tonight, sweetie, I have a headache. You're very loud all the time. I imagine he's got a really low voice, too, because look at the size of that fucker. <laughs> oh, God, I'm taking my bell. It's going to ring. Away from the swirlies. Oh shit! God damn, this fucking fat ass can hustle. God damn it! Me alone. Okay, now run away quickly. Quickly run away. Okay, spinning, 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 spinning. Oh, shit. Oh, come on, you fucker. No, 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 run away, run away, run away. Get fucked. Suck my dick, Commander Niall. Hello, Mr. Ghost. Lord Mikola, forgive me. The sun has not been swallowed. Our prayers were lacking. Your comrade remains soulless. I will never set eyes upon it now. Your divine Alec tree. Whatever weird cultist. <laughs> Later, Tater. Thanks for the medallion. Anyone in chat ever been out on a frozen lake? Because you wouldn't catch me doing that shit. Oh, gee. Ah, oh, fucking Christ. You're shitting me? God damn. Average male experience going home from the bar. Here I was worried about the frozen lake. And in reality, I was, should have been worried about falling off the edge of a cliff because of how foggy it was. And my booty touched and died. No. It's my average day at work. Not going home from the bar. Driving off of a cliff because it's too foggy and I'm too drunk. <laughs> that's that's what killed me. I'm pretty sure this won't lead into oblivion. Onward. Don't you hate it when you're driving along in a blizzard and suddenly jellyfish? Borealis of the freezing fog. Oh, it's a big. Oh, it's a draken. Oh, he's a little strong too. Okay. Yeah, he's got hurdy cold breath. Onward, Torrent. Charge him. Oh, God. Maybe not directly next time. That may have been a misjudgment on my part. Maybe I'll just leave well enough alone with this asshole. Oh, 
Excellent dinosaur. We're all accurate. I think. Crocodile. Yeah, just fucking sure. Close enough. I mean, if somebody said there's a big ass crocodile coming after me, I'd probably respond in like. <laughs> Bear, yeah. Also scary. No, no. Bears are scary. I would run away from one. Alright, invisible bullshit time. Hope everyone's bullshit meters are up to 10 because here we fucking go. See, now here's the problem. Do I follow the bloodstains? Because that seems. The, sort of, yeah. I mean, I like to call it a bicorn. Some people call it a gorse because it's like a goat and a horse, but. Uh, I like bicorn better. Oh, would I run from a horse? I. I don't know. That kind of depends. I don't know if running from a horse would be the best bet. Say you are getting charged by a horse. I, he can outrun you. Like, I mean, so could a bear, I guess. Crocodile probably couldn't. I could probably outrun a crocodile. Would you get surgery to make you half horse? Which half? Upper half, minotaur style? Kinda. I, I have great hair. Can I do it's like my brain in a horse head or do I have a horse brain attached to a human body? And also skipping out on the horse dick seems like kind of a, a poor choice there. I probably only have to I'd probably have to have sex with horses then. So yeah, upper half, yeah, maybe. I don't know. It seems like there'd be some good uh yeah, Bojack style. Oh, you know what? You sold me, yes, Bojack style. <laughs> Left half. <laughs> Just left side of my body is horse. Right side is human. I can't get out of bed. My life is a nightmare. <laughs> Centaur maxing. Yeah. One horse testicle, one human has testicle. <laughs> oh, man. If you try to have a kid, it would just be like <laughs> a roulette wheel. <laughs> What's it going to be? Equine or human? We'll find out on the next episode of We Sewed Animal Parts to This Guy, only on Fox. I hate these fucking things, so I'm just gonna avoid them. Also a precarious position I would not like to be in is just like, hey, you know that frozen lake you're worried about? How about you ride across this frozen chain, idiot? Give me that map. I'm the map. I'm the map. Ugh, I'm the map. Oh, god damn. Jesus. On a peak. That's for minding your own business. An asshole. Oh, do oh, god damn, ninja rolls. Shit, he's special forces trained. Uh, no, never mind. He's just flailing around. In Canada, we call them Yetis. In Oregon, we call them Bigfoots. Oh, in Oregon, we call these hands. Horrible, grotesque hand monsters. I wouldn't fuck with any of these. If I saw that coming at me, I would nope right out of this situation. Like, sorry, I don't want to be Elden Lord or whatever the fuck that bad. Fucking little things from, At well, not little, but big things from Adam's family. Fucking running around, jumping on you, jumping off of cliffs and shit. Fuck that, man. Big pass. Big pass from this guy. I'm gonna grab my ranch and not pay extra. You know, I would feel insulted if it wasn't so true. That's like the cool action movie line you say when they're dead. Dipping sauce costs extra. Your partner's like, what? You're like, I had this whole thing in my... Never mind. Just kill this dog thing. This Tyrannosaurus Rex dog. Also would totally nope out if these things were around. There's all sorts of gross shit coming after me in this game. I've had enough trials. I've well, I'm well past the threshold of the call to adventure at this point. Bloody figure, oh, Okina. Oh shit. I know this guy. You motherfucker. God damn it. Nice. Huh? Oh, this will probably be an easy edit. I actually might just fucking put this on YouTube. <laughs> oh my god. Burrito Tuesday. <laughs> you know what I mean, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, also that, yeah. I've also had um, several beers. I was hoping we would, he would just go down the road of his own assumptions and just assume it was ra ranch that was watered down a little bit for easy drinking. Holy little fucker. Can't get me with that. 
I can get you. Ah. <laughs> you Americans sure do drink a lot. Says the Canadian. Come on. I thought this was something we all had in common. I thought it was just a commonwealthy thing. Like Canadians and Australians and Americans and the UK. We all just drink a lot. For like camaraderie or whatever. Oh, or the more depressing thing Kim said. The corporate hellscape escapism thing. See, I'm the kind of person who I'm like, I will drink often. But off, really, honestly, when I'm like not streaming or it's not like Friday or it's not date night with Kim. So... <laughs> So when it's not four days out of the week, uh, I don't drink all that much, honestly. A couple of beers, whatever, after work, and I'm good. I cut down from only four times from four times a week to only four days a week. We went out last Thursday and got hammered. Oops, shit, you're right. God damn it. Okay, just I just. Well, I'm not hammered tonight. You guys, I mean, you guys could tell when I'm hammered. I'm not hammered. I've just had several beers. I mean, spaced out over a pretty long period of time too. I had my first one, like, right after I clocked off from work. That was at 7. So, I don't know. I'm spacing them out. I'm not really drunk. Maybe I'm too lucid. No, no, no please don't sit down. Come on. Get up. Yes. Arise, ye tarnished. Make your, ye way to ye old giant cereal bowl. Oh, God. Definitely don't jump off the edge. Definitely don't get murdered by whatever the hell that is, too. Yeah, it means ranch, like, where you name cattle. Or where you raise cattle. I was also, honestly, I was also confused by the name when I first heard it. I was like, ranch water? What the f- They're just making seltzers out of whatever now, huh? It's like, a, it's like a margarita if you're an alcoholic. Boss time! Oh, boy. Boss time. Tactical roll. Oh, and the jumping, and why is he up? Where is he? St what is he standing on? Can't hit his foot when he's up there. He's, like, stuck on this weird log. I don't know why they put an unbreakable log in this fight. Well, let's kind of lure him out of that. Go for the foot! Find the foot. Yeah, I don't recall this boss being all that tough. Just kind of... Crunchy. I say as I explode. I say as I explode again. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus Christ. Alright, that's another marker down. Also, I like salad cream cider. That's probably the most horrible sequence of three words as far as beverages are concerned. You know, that involves things that are actually food. So I know where your all fucking brains are going with that. Off the horsey. Should I summon my dude? Well, maybe probably shouldn't have summoned them, but that's fine. Maybe the wolves will die in glory. The music on this boss fight is so sad. Get him, Wuffs. Bite his feet. Yeah, hella super duper dead. Big ass hand. What else is fucking new, I guess? Wait, where the hell do I go? How am I getting fucking. I was just there. How am I getting turned around? I got fucking turned around that bad? God damn it. What the hell's wrong with me? To be fair, everything fucking looks the same and is trying to kill me, so. Sh shrug, I guess. A couple shots of go juice. A little do better potion. God damn it. This dude just likes killing my horse. I've seen football injuries like that. Only Alex Smith responded like that to his horrible fucking ankle break. Just ripped that foot off and, like, offered it to the gods. Oh, tummy eyeball. Chest eyeball? Chest eyeball. Right in the taint. It's a weak spot. 
can never come back from the tank crushing. I gotta go for the hands? What am I supposed to do? How the fuck are you supposed to go with his hands? He's fucking attacking you with them. Oh, well, I, I went for the hand, I suppose. The only thing stopping you from acting is your inability to act. Justin on Elden Ring boss lane. Okay. Alright, this isn't working out. Nope, wrong juice. Oh, damn it. I had my wrong juice out. That wasn't the juice I wanted to drink. Oh, fuck. I should probably also get the stupid tree things, huh? Yeah, let's go do tree-related activities. I mean, it's Elden Ring, so pretty much everything's a tree-related activity. And put in a little bit of that blood flame blade, baby. Wait, did I already beat the dude here? Oh. That was anticlimactic. Ah, yes. Grail's Dragon Barrow. One of the many nature preserves in the lands between. Where you can see dragons in their natural habitat. As well as alligators. And dinosaurs. Maybe a bear or two. Let's go, time nerd. Oh, fuck. You motherfucker. Did I get that good juice? No. That's notably not good juice. Damn it, quit jumping when I'm jumping. God damn it. Dumb fucking tree. I need to get a bloody flame. I need to get my blood flame. Ooh, you miss me, nerd. And my homies are right behind you. Oh, Jesus Christ. Holy fuck. God damn. How did I survive that shit? Just kept rolling and it just kept working. Oh, killing me. Come on, me. Help me out. Oh, God. He's got a sliver of health left. Come on, dude. Oh, Jesus. Thank you. Awesome, dude. High five. Oh, no. I meant to do the heroic thing, not the... Not the casual sit down in the grass thing, but... Whatever. Celebration is a celebration, I suppose. Enemy felled, and congratulations, you now believe in climate change causing harm. Man, that doesn't seem like much of a fucking reward, but okay, I guess. I don't know, fucking one more dead tree, that's all, that's the most important thing. Tree person would never cut down an innocent, non-ambulatory tree. Sentient trees, though? Up for grabs. Yeah, tree adventure with Michael at night. Woo! -hoo. A lot of cultures believe trees are reincarnations of early mankind and carry wisdom. Yeah, a lot of cultures thought like a wolf was eating the sun when there was an eclipse, though, so I take all that kind of stuff with a grain of salt. <laughs> I've seen the first Avatar, so I believe it. Uh, yeah, it's gotta have faith. You're gonna have little dudes running around trying to kill you still, but that's... And, you know, horrible mutant trees and stuff, but... That's just par with the course in this game. Oh, God damn it. Me, come on. There we go. Little distraction there, me. That's all I need. It's a little distraction there, me. That's all I need. There we go. Perfect. Go juice. Go flamey sword. Oh, this guy's going down like a chump! Still hits like a fucking truck, though. Oh no, shooty things. Ah.
Yeah, now do the celebration thing. Come on, come on, do it. Fuck yeah. What other kind of trees can we harass today? Hello? Uh, Michael, old Mikey Two Hands Whaley. Tree harasser. Professional tree harasser here. Zippity zoom! Okay. Yeah, maybe there's a reason I was like, mm, let's not fuck with this guy. Not essential boss. A little fast. Looks like a Tauros from Pokemon. You guys ever notice how boring the uh, Gen 1 Pokemon were? Like, people complain these days about them running out of ideas. They're like, what's well, a fucking pair of keys? It's an ice cream cone, all that kind of shit. But Gen 1 Pokemon, they were like just fucking animals. It's like, that thing? That's just a kangaroo. That's a rat. That's a pigeon. Jinx was hot. Hot take, McCheese. I'll be honest with you, um, all of the Pokemon that look humanoid uh, freak me right the fuck out. Jinx, Mr. Mime, Machoke, the Abras, like they, they all freak me right the hell out. Like they're just a little too close to like people for us to just be cool with just like dog fighting them. Oh, that's an awesome way to die. Excellent. That's totally what I needed in my life. Oh, oh. Let's not stand there and summon some shit, Michael, and this fucking thing charging at you. I mean, you're not wrong, McCheese. I did love Gen 1 Pokemon. I don't know if I outgrew it a little too rapidly or what exactly happened there, because I did not continue with the series, even though I played the absolute piss fuck out of the first game. And I watched the anime, too. The original run of the anime when I was a kid. Uh, oh, spinny bullshit. Meowth, that's right. God fucking damn it, you son of a fucking... Fucking Christ, Jesus. Yeah, I'm surprised that Team Rocket wasn't just like... Oh, they were always looking for like rare and valuable Pokemon, but they had one who was a, just a team member... It's like, it's the only Meowth that can fucking talk. Like, sell that shit to the highest bidder for a fucking billion Poke Dollars or whatever the fuck, man. But, I don't know, maybe Team Rocket was a little more chill than we thought they were. They're like, we're criminals, but, like, we follow the thieves code. He's one of us now. They had principle. They'd never sell Meow Meowth. Yeah, that, that, exactly. We're at the same point. We landed on the same point here. No, Giovanni seemed like a hyper douche, though. Like, Jesse and James definitely wouldn't sell Meowth, but... I'm surprised Giovanni was just like... Now, I was just talking about Giovanni, but I honestly cannot remember much of him in the anime. I do... Yeah, I do not. That utterly confused me. But, but please, let's go into deep Pokemon lore. Like, I... <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> oh, right, yeah, yeah, he had a Persian. He saw me out talk, and he was like, give me that shit, and they are like, no. Oh, no, I don't actually remember that, no. That's wild. So the, the shit I was just fucking saying, which was just coming out of my ass, well, is, is all fucking accurate. That's fucking wild. And they got wrecked by Giovanni because he's a badass? Or where is this tree? I don't think I... Did I get the dude on that tree? I don't know. One way to find out. Prepare for trouble and make it double. Oh, you know I want your sweet, sweet goo. Ooh, golden slam. Fun. Oh, God, a worm face. Oh, Jesus. The worm's all over his face. Come on. Fuck you. Get out of here. Just going after the worm face. Oh, God, there's black stuff. Oh, God, black death. Oh, don't let him get you with the goo. Don't let him eat you. It's got a worm face. Oh, no, no, no. Get out of there. Get out of the goo. God damn it, Mimic Terror, did you just get fucking gooed? Oh, God damn it, stupid ass me. Oh, come on, with the goo. One face. 
Worm face, worm face. A little worm face. He's my precious little boy, worm face. I'd be pretty pissed off I had worms in my face. Get fucked, worm face! Motherfucker! Stop me, fucking asshole. No, no, no death. No, no, roll away, roll away, roll away. Get fucked, worm face. Come on, kill him. God damn it. Yeah, fuck you. Crimson spill and speckled. Okay. Let's just see what all this shit does. Get the fuck up. God damn it. Character's so. F character's like me, just fucking sleepy. It's like, god damn, I want to sit down after that shit. Yeah, I don't blame you. So apparently Meowth was never tamed by anyone, no Pokeball. Oh. Meowth was, so Meowth's a little, he kind of acts as like the antithesis to Pikachu then. Meowth is sort of like the, um, I mean, human beings love duality in like all things. And if there's a Pikachu who is different from other Pikachus, because Ash's was particular it was special um in that it was its electrical attacks were way stronger than a normal pika then meowth who is a special pokemon in its own right was also the one who was outside of the pokeball they both refused to go inside the pokeball they always hung out on the outside so a, a fun little duality there that i honestly never noticed before we got a hot dog cart and like sold and live streamed in Oregon. Honestly, dude, I would I would run a dog cart because I'm a I have a mad respect for the dog. I think I can make a mean hot dog. I would get a good quality dog that to start with, and then do some cool flavor combinations, do like specials and stuff, but also have all the classics for boring people. That's not fair. Sometimes you just feel like a dog with a little mustard, and that's it. You know. Yeah, I think that'd be that'd be a fun ass thing. That or like my own deli or something. I think would be a fucking rad thing. Like make my own pickles, roast turkey, bake a house bread that I put up, make all the sandwiches on. Man, that'd be cool. <laughs> Have creepy chatters that suspiciously buy dogs for the girl customers. <laughs> yeah, no shit. I'd like to put a hot dog in her bun if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Tell her my name. It's Sex King Six Nine underscore four twenty. Have her write it on on her arm in Sharpie. God, this game's fucking pretty. There's just like wacky crap going on everywhere. Like it's pretty, but it's also like in like a natural way. But it's also so like alien. Like there's just such so much bizarre shit, like huge glowing trees and like ghost flags and weird stuff. <laughs> and trailer parks apparently. Is that, is that what I'm looking at right now? Yeah, it's kind of basically covered wagon trailer park kind of vibe. I like the chaos that was just occurring there. That was some cool shit. Anyway, I'm going to sit next to this Grace and I'm going to go get some more beers. So I'll be back in a second. Oh, I get to go to my fun pause screen. That means too. Yeah, look at that shit. <laughs> And then here I am. Oh, look at me. I'm a little, I'm a little streamer. I'm, I love streaming. Wee. One of my gripes about this game, and I don't have many because I love this game. Like, to quote Nakey Jakey, I love video games, and I love this game more than I like, than I love most video games. Like, I think that's a pretty astute way of putting it. Like, <laughs> I, I, I agree with that. I love this game a lot. But one of my little gripes about it is... God damn, the dungeons are samey mamey. Not a whole lot of variety in these like in these side dungeons. The side dungeons at least. The, the actual story related stuff is you know, more specific to the area that it's in. It's got a little more detail, but so many of the side things are just like, oh yeah, it's a fucking cave and there's miners. It's like, oh okay, cool. You only complain is that's so hard, Kim. Yeah, I mean it is hard, but honestly, Compared to other games by this company, Elden Ring offers you like a sliding difficulty scale. If something proves to be too hard for you, you can kind of just leave and go to the someplace else. And I had a friend I used to game with, and he was so much more amped after he'd watched Fox News for an hour with his parents. 
<laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I'm not sure. Hold on. Let me read that story back again. I had a friend that I used to game with, and he was so much more amped after he'd watch Fox News for an hour with his parents. That is a bizarre sentence to read out loud. What about a volcano fire lizard rebel from Dutch Bros? Um, yeah, that was weirdly, shockingly good. Like, I was not expecting much when you grabbed that on a whim, and I was just like, oh, that's... that's fine. If not, pretty tasty. And also, just a volcano fire lizard rebel sounds like a, like a boss you'd fight in this game or something. Stone digger troll. I'm angry and mad about it. Arr. I also suck. Cause you're over leveled for this cave. Gotta put enough explosive barrels in your fucking boss hideout. I don't. Th I think this dude wanted me to kill him. I think this guy was suicidal or some shit. Because who keeps this much explosive shit in their cave, in their lair, with open flames around it, no less? Uh, Dutch Brothers Mary McCheese is a chain um, coffee place that is actually from here in Oregon. They actually just we recently, I think within the last year or two, um, went public. So you can buy Dutch Brothers stock now. And uh, also, more to the quality of their products, they are the Wilford Brimley Diabetes Poster Child of coffee stands. They are, they are sugar bombs, yes. That's why I usually do not get their coffee. But they have their own brand of energy drink, which is not bad. It is... I, I'm... Hard-pressed to say it isn't just Red Bull. I don't trust the Dutch. Their ovens stink. That, sir, is fartist. And I will not have that kind of intolerance on my stream. I saw a quote once wherein somebody said, People who don't laugh at farts are allowing the same number of farts to happen around them, but choosing to not enjoy them. And, th and that is... It's a great metaphor for everything in life, in my opinion. Farts are, like, universal. Even a child, like a, a, a baby, not, not even a child, a baby, who doesn't even understand farts will still laugh at them because they are hilarious. It's gas escaping your butt flaps. Like, how absurd, and they're just, and they're also very universal. Like, it's such a, I don't know, co comedy when it's relatable to everyone. It is a rare thing. And and farts just so happen to be that. Wish they smelled cherry delicious. What the hell is cherry delicious? Is that just a flavor you invented? Because I like it. I would order something if it was called cherry delicious. Like if I went to the bar and I was like, oh, what specials do you got? Well, we have the cherry delicious. I'd be like, yeah, sold, I guess. I'll have one of those and then I'll have a real drink, I guess. <laughs> and I, I heartily disagree with you, McCheese. I am... I am certain, without reasonable doubt, <coughs> that you fart. Ever. Right, one tree boy down, one tree boy to go. And tree stream. Doing tree related activities over here in Elden Ring. Even things you wouldn't think would relate to trees. They, uh, find a way. Oh, hello, Mr. Weird Shield Attack. And let's just get myself a little bit of distance there. Hey, 
And double dead. <sighs> Someday you'll look back and wish for the good old days of nun farts. I don't think they bother me that much, if I'm being 100% honest with you. Unless you're like, your stomach is constantly hurting by all of the farts you're holding in that you would just be constantly ripping when you're over here. I sincerely doubt that you fart to that quantity. I honestly don't even know what I'm saying anymore, guys. This is just all, this is just all off the top of my head. Send him poop pics, that'll cement things. I don't know if I, I think that's a little too intimate, you know? I don't mind, I don't mind somebody pooping in front of me. That's not a thing that I particularly like, but will do when the situation requires. I'm kind of a private pooper, I'll be honest with you. I, I, hey now, you're putting words in my mouth. I didn't say anything about pooping on me. I definitely am not, con I definitely do not want to deal with that. I can barely handle scooping a litter box or picking up dog turds. I have a sensitive nosy. I get I get queasy when I'm dealing with the raw product. But just the gas that dissipates in the air? Nah, whatever. Who cares? Why <laughs> Sanders quick clip that? <laughs> I don't even remember what I said. See this God damn it you guys. See, this is the problem when I'm playing a game. I don't even know what the fuck I'm saying. I'm just <laughs> It's just like my brain synapses are firing on a totally different level, so it's just like... <laughs> it's just random word association for me. Fuck! what I say? And then, I'm getting, then I get stuck on a fucking tree. Beat a boss, get stuck on a tree, rip. No poop pick, but for sure boob pick with mustache filter, yes. Hey, Deathbird. That looks like a baby skull attached to a snake skeleton with bird wings. I'm glad I got all that out before I died. These might just be my favorite enemies in Elden Ring. Look at these things. Look at these fucking guys. Look at them go. He's, like, not even a threat to me. He just wants to be left alone. He's just like a hermit crab. If it was a snake skeleton. And just so happened to use a skull as its little borrowed shell thing. How cool is he? How cool is this guy? Scale of 1 to 10, how cool is this guy? Because I'm going to give him, like, a... Like an 8.5... I don't know if I said favorite or not, but I meant one of my favorites. That was just some fun monster design right there. And look at the size of these skulls, too. Where did they find a skull that big? Whose skull is that? I know I found literal giants in other places of the game, but not around here. with skulls that look like that. Doing tree-related activities. Oh, okay. Yeah, here we go. Well, there we go. There's the tree stuff. Twiggy. Twiggy correct here. Crimson crystal tier. Death cultists. I feel like these guys are going to be that much of a hassle, to be honest with you. Yeah, fuck it. Let's check this tree out. See no bad tree boss. Why, am I just, why do I just want to indiscriminately slaughter everything? What's wrong with me? Any more trees around here? Y'all got any more of them trees? Or you enabled the DM block in your Discord. Used to get random boob pics from viewers all the time. Felt bad because I didn't know what to say to a lot of the time other than nice. Thank you. I legit feel bad for larger streamers like Kassan knowing this. Um, yeah, I mean, what, what can you say other than nice and thank you? Most of the time, it's the other way around. For, for fellas, I mean. 
most of the time we're sending unsolicited picks. Not me personally, but... Like dicks, yeah. I thought you meant guys get dick pics a lot. Oh. Yeah. If guys are the ones sending them, then I don't understand what the um. Yeah, I guess the end game is ooh, nice dick, let's have sex, but. I ultimately don't think that's even what the dudes sending those kind of picks are even looking for. I, I don't know what it is. Some sort of validation, but I, I don't know what. Point of desperation and delusion, yeah, maybe. Let's just dodge roll away from this a little bit. I didn't just scooting around. Just scoot, scoot, scooting. Go scoot, scoot, scooting again. Hit me with black flames and shit. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna die. I am going to die. Oh, never mind. Fuck you god. What do we say to the god of death? Not today. I remember talking to another streamer and they're like, people do that? How how do you? And I was like, yikes, blocked. So maybe it's not a universal problem and I just need sleep. Wait, I don't I don't get it. I I don't understand the um I, I'm I'm having trouble with my reading comprehension right now. How do you, how do you what? And yeah, he does look like a vulture. And he's a fucking colossal pain in my ass, too. Couple of boosts. How do you like, how, how do you like my little boost, buddy? How do you like a little boosted? Oops. Wrong juice. Wrong juice. I'm out of that juice. Oh, oh God. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh. Still wasn't all that helpful for me. Okay, bet. Gotta hit him more. Uh, thanks, Bullet. Just gotta give him some of that real turbulent juice. A world full of manis. There's three Michaels, and they're got the juice. the actual correct juice this time and they summon another Michael and then back up and heal so they don't die the uh, blood flame again fuck it I got the juice oh no don't sit down Oh God! No! 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 Don't sit down. Oh, please get up. Get the fuck up, please. Oh, your mini me just died, dude. Oh God damn it! Oh, quit jumping around. Jump farther than me. It's not fair. Oh, seriously? With a double hit? God fucking damn it. <sighs> I hate this fight. And yes, also, damn it, I should have grabbed his dick and twisted it. Fuck, I don't have that Ash of War to hand that shit. Chop him right in the taint. Probably better summon before I start the fight so that, that this might be beneficial to me overall. Oh yeah, hit him not me. He's the one doing all this. No, no, god damn it you son, oh my god, are you shitting me? Get up, get up, get the fuck up. 
Christ. Oh, god damn it. There wasn't even any runes there. I died so many fucking times. Oh, my God. Cause this concoction to explode? Cool. Yo, these bushes and shit are, like, super duper not helping. Oh, hell yeah. Stance break. Build them clean. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Mushrooms and shit growing everywhere. Dragon time. Do -do -do -do. Dragon time. Dragon time. I'm on a bridge. This dragon seems a little strong. Look at that. It's a fucking way to cheese this fight. I just can't remember how to do it. It all has to do with just like fucking around on the edge of the bridge here, and he just like flaps off to his death. Like, just like over here. Stupid shit like this. I mean, I'm safe, but am I? I am not. Oh, oh I'm on top of the dragon. Oh, that was fun. Wish Torrent would talk to you, and he would just be like. What? Oh, come on. C come on, I made that. That was a careful slide. Only when I gracefully touched the ground did the game decide that I was too far of a fall. Y yeah, it was delayed. I had a chance to take a few fucking steps before it was even like, uh, uh, no. In hindsight, you shouldn't have lived through that. Through that. Like, sorry. This is, this is where your story ends, buddy. Sorry you're having fun trying to climb down mountains, but that was not the intended path. Want that death scream to be a sound alert? Yeah, I could probably make that happen. I think I gotta... It's... Really? There's... I went that way and there's a fucking thing right here. God damn it, I'm such a stupid asshole sometimes. I'm such a stupid, worthless sack of human nothing. What the fuck do I do here? I don't know if I have the cognitive capacity to puzzle right now. Okay, I'm on the roof, so that's... The uh, start. Okay, now I'm no longer on a roof. Why in this area at the cemetery, they're just like, yeah, we'll put a level one golden rune. Come on. No, come on. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Oh, oh God damn it. Yep. Another, another gentle landing to my death. Oh, sorry. I made. Hmm. All right, back to snowy wasteland. We'll wrap the stream up the way in the same place I started it. And as I recall, there is a big old snowy dragon boy over here. And I'm not going to fight. I'm going to continue past at a brisk pace. Cool little chapel thing. It? It's my only prize for coming all the way out here? Ooh. It's quiet. Too quiet. Things be dark. Ooh, the plot thickens. Okay, that was a whole lot of buildup for not a very strong attack. I have a feeling this fight was supposed to trigger earlier or something, because... <laughs> Great enemy. Went down three hits. He fucking tried to do the five-point palm exploding heart technique on me and, like, missed, and then beat his ass. Give these old biddies my bell. Hey, babies, want this bell? They're like, yeah, I'm like, cool. Glad we're on the same page. Strengthen my armaments. I've got the stuff, but I don't have the money, because I fucking got killed at some point. All right. I think I'll end it here with, uh, next to this asshole gave me trouble, so. Yeah. Got a couple levels under my belt. Killed a bunch of the stupid big tree guys. Did some stuff. Just gotta kill this fire giant. Fuck yeah.
Well, hope you guys enjoyed the random fucking Tuesday night stream. And if uh, anyone's watching this later, I hope you enjoyed the random clip show of mostly me dying and saying stupid things. Until next time, what do we like to say here on Bear on the Keyboard is, of course, cheers. See you guys later. Okay, bye. Love you. Yeah, say it back. Beer on the keyboard with you and me. Cheers to this fucking wicked cool stream. <laughs>